Hello there. Welcome. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> uh, this microphone is not working anymore. I've had it since I lived in Vermont, and that was a long time ago. So it's served me well. But now you can hear a lot of white noise in the background. And that's not cute. So bear with me. This will be the last video with it. Can you hear me in it? Okay, good. Hopefully I can get a new mic soon. That'll be very exciting. Welcome to this vlog. This week was actually filmed a couple weeks ago and I feel like it felt it feels now like it was a billion weeks ago because just a lot of time to spend with my brain since then. I started school, back to school at Parsons, a photography major and art history minor, except I'm not taking any art history classes this semester because I'm almost done with my minor, so Anyways, I don't ever intro my videos, and I think this might be fun to do from now on, and especially if I have a new mic. So, yeah, not much to it. It's just a week of school. But before we get into the vlog, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Book of the Month. So thank you again to Book of the Month. If you don't know, Book of the Month is an online book subscription service. They gather a selection of five different books each month, from different genres, from debut authors and their debut novels, new releases or pre-releases. You get to choose one of these five books to receive in the mail straight to your door. And if you'd like to add another one on, you can. And if you'd like to skip a month, you definitely can as well, risk-free at no charge. So if you'd like to sign up for Book of the Month, click the link in the description of my video. You can get your first hardcover book for just $9.99 if you use the code on the screen and also in the description. So I'm gonna share with you guys a brief little synopsis of each book for this month. The first one is is the Four Winds by Kirsten Hanna. You might also know this author from The Nightingale, which she wrote. It's a historical fiction book set in the Great Depression era. It follows a family's decision of whether to stay in their home or to move to the West in hopes to find a better life. The next one is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. This cover, gorgeous. This is an early release literary fiction. It's a multi-generational story of a Colombian family that lives in two different countries, so therefore separated by borders. The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson is a contemporary fiction story of a woman returning to her struggling hometown. This story examines the heartbreaking divide between black and white communities and plums the emotional depths of the struggle faced by ordinary Americans in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis. Next we have Girl A by Abigail Dean, which is a debut suspense novel exploring childhood drama. A propulsive tale of escape and survival becomes a gripping psychological family story about the shifting alliances and betrayals of sibling relationships. And last we have Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers which is a contemporary fiction debut novel. Uh, the main character drunkenly gets married in Vegas and so over the summer she moves to New York to get to know her new wife but also dealing with the struggles of reality of life. So these are the five books on offer for Book of the Month's February books. If you'd like to sign up, link in the description as well as the code. And thank you again to the Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Anyways, without further ado, let us get into the vlog. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. some fancy schmancy listening devices. I got some AirPods for Christmas. Now I can properly listen to the audio in my vlogs and get them right. So, vlog is going up today. It's not exciting. Also realized today that I'll have to take a class this semester that I don't want to take because it's a video making. I major in photography, so I don't really want to be doing video in school. And I realized why I have such a problem with it is because video is my hobby. And when you turn your hobby into something that you have to do, that's super annoying. And I struggle a lot with it because I don't like being forced to do things that I like doing. Um, because I'm an Aquarius and I don't like being forced to do things. <laughs> 
School's really going great for me. Hi, today's Tuesday. School starts today, but I don't have class today. Yay, except I have class tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's fine, I'll be fine. I have class Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so I also have Friday off. I had such problems, such troubles trying to figure out my schedule this semester. I had it all planned out, as I do. I had it done well in advance. And then when it time to come to registering, it didn't freaking work out, which was very rare because I'm a K-pop stan and therefore I'm very good at putting things in very quickly for concerts. But this time it just didn't, something went wrong in the system and it like tried to whatever. And then by the time I figured it, it was late, it was too late, so yeah. That's depressing and so I needed a credit and there was just no class that I wanted to take. They all sounded stupid. I finally declared my art history minor, art and design history minor. So I'm almost finished with it. I need to take basically one class and the only classes that are offered for that one credit that I need, I don't want to do it. Like I cannot do that to myself. It just does not sound interesting at all. I cannot suffer through a semester of it. I have to suffer through all the other things that I'm required to take, not history. I'm a photography major, by the way. So a headache and two hours later, I finally found a class and it should be fun, I hope. It better be fun after all that I went through to find it. In other news, I don't have a history class this semester, which is very depressing and I don't know how I'm gonna keep my sanity. I am a little down about one of these classes, so I'm a photography major. And so I do video on the side. This is what YouTube is, I do videos. That's like my hobby on the side. That's something that I don't like to be forced to do in an academic capacity and I've been getting emails from one of my classes that I have to take. It's one of my core classes and I do, like, it's video. I'm a photography major. There's a lot of photography knowledge that I still need to freaking learn, but they're not teaching it to me because it's a pandemic. So they're like, okay, they can do video, right? I don't know if video was the thing you're supposed to do this whole time anyways, like even in normal times, but I, this is, I'm not just being like, oh, like I don't know what the class is and now I'm getting ahead of myself. Last semester's class was essentially what this semester's class is gonna be again. I don't wanna do video. I, I don't like to be forced to do video. That's something that I need to do completely on my own. She emailed and said, share um, three examples of your work. I think not. So starting the semester, great. In other news, my hair, I don't really like it at all i kind of hate it so if you like it too bad i'll probably have changed it within this week yeah i thought i'd try something a little different didn't really like it but that's okay because it's okay <laughs> so today all i have to do is upload a vlog and edit and edit anyways take care goodbye <laughs>
Honestly, I had given up all hope. And so that's why I wasn't filming me opening this because I bought so many copies of this a freaking album because I need this card because it's literally impossible to find. They're being sold for like 70 plus dollars, maybe 80 plus. And I can't, I'm not gonna do that for an album card and it's not even a Kino card. Like, are you serious? Are you kidding me? What are you trying to, what are you trying to do? And I couldn't, I lost it, okay? I can't believe that this happened. Now I can stop buying this freaking album. This is probably my favorite photo card. Like, look at it, look at it, look at it. Excuse me, excuse me. 